So let's talk about the concept of lambda versions and aliases. So, so far when we've been working on the lambda functions, we used this dollar sign latest version. So this version was immutable because we were able to edit our code and so on. But one thing we haven't done is that when we are happy with our code state, we can publish the Lambda function and create a new version. So as soon as we hit publish, it will become v1 and v1 is immutable. What does immutable mean? That means that you cannot change the code or the environment variables or anything else afterwards. So it is fixed as a version. And so as you keep on publishing, the versions will have an increasing version numbers. So you go from v1 to v2, etc., etc. Each version is independent and will get its own ARN, so Amazon resource name. And so if we do know what a version is now, it is your code and your configuration. Nothing can be changed, it's immutable. So each Lambda function version can be accessed as well as your latest. So this is great to iterate and mark your advance into your releases of your Lambda function. But what if we want to give your end user a stable endpoint? So for this, we can use Lambda aliases. Aliases are going to be pointers that point to your Lambda function versions, and we can define a dev, test, and prod aliases, for example, and have them point to different Lambda versions. Aliases this time are mutable, and this is why we want to use them. And so we have the latest, which is a version and an alias. This is fine. Then we have v1 and v2. And so we're going to create a dev alias that's going to be mutable, pointing to the latest version of our Lambda function. This way we can edit code and quickly see how it's going on. And our users will interact with a dev alias, which will in turn call the latest version of our function. But we can create a test alias to test the v2 version of our function. Again, that's mutable. And we can create a prod alias to test, and not to test, actually to point to the v1 function that we know is stable and working. So why would we do we do aliases? Well, they enable canary deployments because we can assign weights to the Lambda function versions we point to. So for prod, for example, say we want to switch from the v1 function all the way to the v2 function, instead of switching the pointer, we can say 95% of the traffic is going to go to v1 and only 5% of the traffic is going to go to v2. And the purpose of this is that now we're testing v2 in prod, making sure it works before we switch the full power onto v2 and 100% of the traffic there. So aliases enable stable configuration for our triggers or user destinations. They can be invoked stably, but they can point in the backend to whatever Lambda version we want. So these aliases will get their own ARNs. And great thing to note, aliases cannot, references, cannot reference other aliases. They can only reference version, and this is something the exam may try to trick you on, okay? So let's go into the hands-on to see how they work.